Uh, jongens, uh, Wet Wild, uh, hier zijn we van Alta weer uh, interview met onze oude metalhelden van SOD. Uh, talking to Billy Milano here. Billy, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, uh, having a good time, yeah. enjoying the weather. Yeah. Well, it started at one o'clock, the, the rain. Uh, the rain. Yeah. It's going to stop for us. I hope, I do hope so. It happened at Grass Pop, it'll happen here. Uh, okay. Um, Billy, you're doing a one-time gig this year, I understand. I don't know what you mean by that question. I mean, we're well, playing around for like the last two or three weeks for the festivals, and uh, we're just going to take some time off. You know, we all have personal things to do right. in our lives, and uh, we wanted to take this opportunity to uh, to have some fun with mm -hmm. SOD. Yeah, but what what I understood is uh, that SOD was just for for this year, and then afterwards it would be gone. Uh, we don't know. Uh, definition of what SOD is. What we're going to do. Yeah, one thing we don't want to do is plan ahead. Yeah, because I quote now, I quote your words. Uh, I read it here in the in this uh, program book of, of, uh, I was probably of this full festival. Of shit. <laughs> I'm always okay. Full of okay. Shit, so okay. you never know. Okay. Um, so what happened uh, after the legendary album? What happens after this? Which one? Which one? What are you talking about? This one, the, the the first one. What about it? What happened after it? After it, yeah. You know, we only did that record as a as basically for fun. No one expected. F for it to go where it did and uh you know one of the things we didn't want to do was really pursue it i mean we were all doing our own things back then in 85 and 86 anthrax charlie was doing with scott i was doing mod and uh, danny loker was in nuclear assault right. and so we just did our own things i mean we it was still this, it, it wasn't as much as the materialism of being involved with the band, the physical aspect or the physical attribute of being in the band that we were looking for. Yeah. It was the spirit of what it was mm -hmm. that really, you know, was in our hearts. It was something that we felt personal in. Right. It was enough to just know that we were a part of it. We didn't have to do it. And uh, we still don't feel like we have to do it. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the time. We have the time now to have fun. So we figured we'd get to know each other. If you don't like it, you can go home and kill your fucking self! Oké, okay, goedenavond Wet en Wild kijkers, hier zijn we weer. Ik heb even een interview met uh, Anders van uh, de band In Flames. Uh, zeer bekende band uit, uh, uit Zweden. Uh, onlangs hun uh, nieuwe cd Colony uitgebracht. Uh, opvolger van Horacle uit 97. En 99 is dus uh, de beurt aan Colony. 
You did record a new album, Colony. Can you tell me something about this? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, as you said, it's recently released uh, and uh, it's recorded in uh, Studio Friedman at home, Gothenburg, where we always recorded our albums and. Um, well, we recorded in November, December, and uh, we're really proud. We are really satisfied. It's a little bit step further, you know, but still, it's the same uh, in flames. You know, if you know in flames, right. and uh, then you will definitely recon this this album. But we've used some new things here and there just to broaden the old sound spectrum a little bit. And uh, yeah, as I said, we're really proud of it. And these are the first we have done two uh, festivals before, so this is the third one. And uh, I mean, try to promote the album. And uh, in uh, September, we have a European tour, so I mean, we have. Ja, daar zijn we weer, uh, Walt Rock, uh, liefhebbers TMF. Um, we hebben een klein interviewtje met de bassist van uh, Merciful Fate, uh, Charlie D'Angelo. Uh, welcome Charlie. Thank you very much. Uh, we gaan even een klein, uh, klein babbeltje wederom weer houden. Uh, Charlie, uh, you're well, the, the band before uh, SOD. Yes. Um, what are your impressions of today of the Walt Rock Festival? Well, just got here, so the only impression is wet yeah, so wet. far. But it's nice, it's nice. I mean, it's not cold, it's not windy or anything, so let's hope the rain stops yeah, yeah. before it just turns into dis right. disaster. So. Right. You're going to do a lot of tours now, or is this the just, I understand, just that this is the one, one of the last uh, tours you're going to do now? Uh, yeah, this is, this is the one, the one of the, we, th we have like three more, four more dates on the tour, then it's over, so. so what is your next gig? Uh, in Krefeld in Germany. Germany. Yeah, it's like one of our own. Then we have one in Paris, which is also one of our own headlining. Mm -hmm. and then we do uh, Belfort and Milton Keynes with Metallica. And then it's like a uh, festival, the Rockwave mm -hmm. Festival in Greece. Mm -hmm. And then it's home. Okay. So we've been out since, yeah, Dynamo was the first gig. Mm -hmm. I understand uh, you released your new album, uh, Nine, uh, just a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, something like that, just after the Dynamo. Uh, are there any good reactions you had till now? Uh, yeah, very many actually. I mean, uh, especially the reviews that we've seen. I mean, we came pretty high in all the sound check and the checks and, and the magazines, wow. like number one in Heavy Order Vaso. So, or, well, yeah, so was, uh, that's the thing I like about Most for Fate. They don't bow for any trends or something like that. Just playing their own things. And I know when I buy, I got all the Most for Fate and King Diamond albums. So. When I buy one, I know it's it's always good, you know, always keeping up the the good tradition. Uh, um, I noticed there were a few changes in the music, but not that uh, disturbing. No, not really. I mean, it's it's just we just do whatever we feel like at the time, which might be like one album might be a little more melodic, one album might be a little no longer with more epic songs, and like the last one was. Of course, the new one is a reaction towards the last one right. so this one is much shorter shorter songs much much faster songs uh -huh. right. so we we get a, enough of this symphonic crap on the yeah, last right. albums and now it's just metal <laughs> Evet en wel, die zijn we dan weer. Uh, interviewtje met de headliner uh, Sepultura. De zanger Derek Green is, uh, is hier aanwezig. Uh, we gaan even een klein, uh, klein babbeltje met hem houden. Derek, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. So, um, 
you know, we're going to talk a little bit about Sepultura. Right. Um, what were the reactions uh, of the audience and the critics on the album against? Uh, it's a lot of different reactions. I think overall, though, it's been really positive. Uh, we played about 127 shows and uh, all over the world, and it's been really positive. You know, a lot of people had doubts of what was going to happen with right. the band, and so once they saw that and they listened to the album, they were really, I think, reassured and just really anxious to hear, you know, something else as well, you mm -hmm. know, like looking forward to the future. So right. that's what we really wanted, to have an impact at first and just have people stop like, wow, you know, and know that Sepultura is still alive. Right. How were your feelings to when, I think, uh, I don't know, how did you uh, get in contact with Sepultura? Uh, there was an audition that they were doing, uh, they had a tape with one song with no vocals. Uh, it was for the song Choke. And I had a friend that worked at Roadrunner Records and he still works there and he suggested that I try out for the band. So I sent a tape of stuff I'd done in the past, different bands I'd played in. And uh, then they asked me to do that demo tape and then I did that in New York and um, sent it to them. And then they asked me to come to Brazil for a couple weeks and audition just to meet everyone and see if we clicked personality-wise. Mm -hmm. And how do you uh, keep in contact? You still uh, live in the States? Or no, I, I live in Amsterdam now. You live in Amsterdam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, that's yeah, cool, yeah. Since January, so for me, uh, we've just been touring from the very beginning. Since February 98, we've just been together, working and living together as like a family, really. Uh -huh. But with, with rehearsals, uh, there there haven't really been too many rehearsals. If anything, uh, we rehearse on the road. Like right. we went through the whole album of against, re recorded that, did everything, didn't do any old songs, uh -huh. and then when we were getting ready to go out in October, we rehearsed for two weeks, and that was it. Uh -huh. And so then the songs got better and better on the road, right. and it's the quickest way to learn. Uh -huh. You know. How are your feelings about? Uh, were you nervous the first time for replacing Mix? Yeah, yeah. I think we all were. You know, it was just really a crazy new beginning, it seemed, right. you know. And so everyone was really kind of nervous and didn't know what to expect, you know. We just knew that what we had written we were happy with and, and we just wanted to put on a good show. So right. people really saw that and they realized it was really honest and it wasn't, you know, trying to be something it was in the past as far as mm -hmm me trying to imitate anything that happened in the past with like Max, which is impossible, you know, mm -hmm. just being a new personality, right. and right. that's... Uh, I that's think that's also the idea you want you yeah. to have to, because replacing somebody is not honest. Yeah, uh, for, for of course not. To compare something with the older, I, I think when you start something new, uh, people don't have to compare anymore. It's yeah. a new thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a new band, so... Whatever, Max is gone, so uh, mm -hmm. I think Sepultura is now Sepultura with you, with mm -hmm. Eric. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, it's a totally different time, you know, in Sepultura. There's been a, I mean, there's always changes in big bands, mm -hmm. and uh, that's something, you know, people have to accept. Sometimes it works out for the best, and sometimes not that great, but in this case, it's really worked out really well, mm -hmm. you know. Better than, I mean, everybody really turned their backs on the band, which was surprising. Because I was a fan before I was in the band. Right, yeah. And for me, that was the most shocking thing, that so many people were into Sepultura, but they, I don't know if they were really into the image or they were really into the band. I because, think it's the image. Yeah, I think. I, I think it was definitely the image because yeah. a lot of people had this false imagination, or they had this image that the band was one person. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's totally ridiculous right. because one person couldn't play all those right. instruments. Yeah.